All right, y'all. So I got, a, I guess, a quick story time and a review on a product from Fimco Industries. Now, super cool story about this, man, and it's about human kindness. A few months back, I was robbed. My entire trailer was stolen, about $15,000 worth of work gear. Um, it was pretty devastating. However, my community is incredible. My customers are incredible. And, you know, I was able to get back on my feet. A lot of folks helped out. A lot of people donated things. So again, this is this is a few months ago, and um, so around that time, a gentleman I remember reached out and was saying, "Hey Brian, do you have any need for a tank?" And I'm pretty sure I was like, "Hey, I don't do spraying or something to that extent." Um, there was a lot of people messaging me at the time, and so it's kind of difficult to know whether or not it was him or if this was the exact item that I was thinking of. Anyhow. Um, he reaches out to me yesterday and says, Hey, I'm going to be over by an automotive shop, which is in my town. And if you want to meet up, I can bring the tank with me. And I was like, yeah, man, that sounds awesome. Um, you know, again, I'm not sure if I really got a use case for it, but you know, kind of let's see what you got. And he took a picture and sent it to me and I'm like, okay, you know, definitely worth, you know, at least meeting the guy out of his generosity alone. And, and I guess you call that networking. Um, which had ended up being a really good networking opportunity and definitely for him. Um, and I'll explain that too. Anyhow, um, you know, so he says, let's meet at this automotive shop. It's like 10 minutes from my house. I said, absolutely. Just give me a, you know, 20 minute heads up so I can meet you there. Uh, well, he reaches out this morning and basically says, Hey, I'm at HEB right now. Um, I can meet you up there in a little bit here. And I basically, I, I replied back, hey, stay put, I'm right up the street, because HEB, I'm actually the first house closest to HEB in, like, our housing district. It's two minutes away from me. And so I'm driving there, and I'm like, okay, I, I don't have this guy's phone number, he's only talking to me on the next door app, and I'm being a little bit hesitant, but, you know, I'm trusting in it. And so I drive in, first thought is, okay, I'm going to find a guy with a tank in the back of this truck. Well, the first row in is a tank in the back of a guy's truck. And so I park next to him, I look over, I wave to him, get out of the car, um, we introduce ourselves, and uh, I see the tank, and I realize, I'm like, oh wow, this is actually, this is a really nice tank. Well, funny thing is, this dude is eating a, I think that's a baller truck, um, this guy is eating a candy, like a caramel apple, and I joke to him, I'm like, man, I just quit the energy drinks, he's like, yeah, I need this to get going in the morning, and so I'd say he's probably late 40s. You know, hardworking man, you can tell by his hands. They're all just, you can just tell by his hands. He's, he does concrete work. His truck's full of just, a normal person would look at it and say, this guy's truck's a mess, but it's organized chaos for all the different types of things he does. He's a handyman. <laughs> and so um, he ends up gifting this to me, he gives it to me, he said, Hey, brother, I saw that you got robbed. I'm, I'm so grateful that in my career, I've never had to experience what you went through. This is an item I've never used. I actually had to take it off the hands of someone that was moving. The, the circumstance was basically, it was given to him and he had absolutely no use for it. He parked it in his backyard um, for years. And when he saw my story, he was like, you know, maybe I can give it to this guy and he can get some work out of it. Again, I'm, I was hesitant to it because I understand when it comes to like the EPA and spraying and pesticides and chemicals, there's a lot more that a business has to achieve to be able to do things like that and my business unfortunately hasn't achieved that but I can do consumer items you know just simple stuff that isn't highly regulated anyhow point in case is uh gentleman gave it to me as a really quick interaction and he was like hey I do concrete work if anybody ever needs anything and I thought to myself you know I was like yeah, absolutely I asked for a card he's like, I gotta order some more and so he sent me his phone number um, on the next door app. And so basically moving forward, I've got an individual in my contact list through networking and through him, his good deed, his heart, and you know, the grace of God that he wanted to help me out. And I do something with in my career that he had something that he doesn't need. Uh, but at the same time, I can help him out when my next customer says, do you know anybody that does concrete work? And so that's really how this all works in this industry is you got to know people. You can't be challenging each other or like stealing from one another and you know doing stuff like that you got to support each other because the big companies have taken over like simply green and just you know the massive corporations that that run any industry 
You know, monopolies are supposed to be illegal. Anyhow, let's get into this review because that was the story time. I know this is a long one. Um, the gentleman gave it to me. We parted ways. I've got his contact info is, is the moral of that. And I really lucked out because this thing is actually brand new. It's so new that it still has its like original tags on it, right? Cool thing, it's got the high flow gold series little motor on it, the pump on it. Gets up to 100 PSI. Now I believe the PSI that goes into your, looks like a pressure washer, but really it's just a little sprayer that shoots out. Um, it is a 25 gallon tank. Again, it's a Fimco. Now, I pressure washed it because it was all dirty from being outside. And I can tell this thing's never been used. I power washed accidentally the logo off. And I also power washed the, like, the barcode off, which is, it's like a, a little bit of a long number followed by ATV. So it's intended to hook up to an ATV. But I've seen people do ATVs. I've seen them do trucks. I've seen them do mowers, like zero turns. That's a little sketchy. I've seen them do zero turns that have little, um, I guess, trailers on the back, which I have one of those, and that's how I plan on using it. But my first real initial review is this thing is freaking awesome. Okay, it's got seven nozzle sprayers. Super simple. Tube comes up from here, feeds over. It's not actually on right now because I don't have everything connected. Um, it all goes in. Now, I like the fact that this thing's massive because if you're pouring in something or, you know, whatever it may be, it's kind of nice to be able to have something. If I can get it open here. Hoses on it. I mean, look in there. It's brand new. It's like a $500 or $600 item. This dude is so generous. He's like, hey, B, take it. I don't need it. I freaking love people, man. And I love being able to give back, too. Now, let's get into this part. All right, so here's your power, right? Now I'm fairly certain just based on the setup because you've got your clamps here, positive and negative, um, as well as your switch, turn on and off the sprayer. So if you're in an area you don't need to spray, you just click this off, drive to where you need to drive to, click it back on, you're good. Um, but based on this setup, I'm certain you would just hook it up to a little battery. And I just happened to be gifted a, a lawnmower, which, you know what, let's go over there. I was gifted a really old lawnmower that wasn't running at all. I tried to get it fixed in this. But yeah, I just took the battery out because I bought it four months ago. And I've got a new use case for it. Unfortunately, in trying to get that mower started, which we cleaned the carb, did all types of stuff, did carb fluid, did oil change, and... Hi, babe. Hi. I'm doing a video. Oh. <laughs> Um, charging this up and basically this is the battery that is going to be used um, in order to run it. Anyhow, I'll let everybody know how it goes after my first job. <laughs> 